And it's a cheeky wee song, a tongue-in-cheek song about a very arrogant laird, a rather pompous man, um, who decides he wants to take a wife for himself and he's got his eye on this wee lass down the, down the road. So he puts on all his finery, he puts on his powdered wig and his ring and his cocked hat and um, his sword and off he goes with his grand proposal. And he is dumbfoonert, dumbfounded when she says, uh, no. And uh, so he rides off again on his mare and puts it all down to her being <laughs> mentally unstable. <laughs> <laughs> How could you possibly refuse me, the Laird of Cockpen? <clears throat> the Laird of Cockpen, he's proud and he's great. His mind is set up with the things of the state. He's wanted a wife, he's brought to keep, but favour we woo and as fast as to seek. Don't buy the dyke side, a lady did dwell at his table. He As new, his waistcoat was white and his coat was blue. He's put on a ring and a sword and cocked hat, and walk in the refuse of a laird we all that. He's tamed the grey mare and he's red cannily. He's wrapped at the yards of clavers holly. He tell Mistress Jean to come speedily, Ben. She's wanted to speak with a laird of Cockpen. Marking the elder blue wine, and what brings the laird at sick a light time? She's put up her apron, put on her silk goon, or much we had the ribbons and gayed a wadoon. And when she's come, then he's bowed full low, and what was his empty soon let him know? Amazed was the laird, but the lady says no, and we are like curtsy, she's turned a Dumbfoonert was he, they sighed at he gee. He's mounted the mare and he's red cannily. And half times he thought as he gave through the glen. She was daft to refuse me the laird of Cockpen. 